Hey guys, my name is Devonte, and I sacrificed my time so you don't have to. I have no reason to want to continue watching Raw, and I literally only watched Raw for one thing. One thing. That's all I cared about was one thing, and I'm pretty sure we're we're connecting here, right? We're we're me and you, me you, you you. We we're, we're having an internal connection right now, right, guys? Because you watched Raw also for one thing. We watched it for CM Punk. And we had a feeling, you had a feeling too. Don't say you didn't, I know you did. We both had a feeling that Seth Rollins was gonna confront CM Punk tonight. And the confrontation it was. So CM Punk comes out, he's kind of gassing up the fans a little tiny bit, you know, he's doing the whole spiel of, hey guys, I'm happy to be here. I love you all, you're my friends. We're best friends forever, best friends forever, stink. SpongeBob SquarePants, by the way. And he's like gassing up the fans and everything. He's talking about, hey, you know, I kind of reflected off this on SmackDown also. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. He actually left on the 26th, I believe, of 2014, January. And he's going to come back. I presume he's going to debut in the Warrior Rumble. We'll talk more about that, you know, later on in the promo. He's going to debut on the 27th in the Warrior Rumble, which is cool. That's fine. Again, it's like legitimately coming in full circle, full decade, like, flat that's fucking cool that's really really cool timing all this is about timing right and he's going on he's talking about how he wants to say sorry to the fans for walking out on them because he kind of feels like hey you know roddy piper kind of did the same thing to me and i felt bad and i can only understand how you guys felt that i walked out on you and he said he promised a girl named india i don't know who he's referring to at first thought he said indy as an indy hartwell but i'm not sure if he's referring to her i could be wrong i'm not sure but um you know he's like i'm back now and you know i'm better than ever which is cool and then he gets an interruption by seth rollins and he comes out looking goofy as fuck as always but he seems a little bit more serious this time the crowd they're going holy shit but the censors are kind of you know blocking it because it's usa network and you know it's a cool moment those guys are face to face that's a that's actually a pretty cool moment i like it i like it a lot and seth rollins he kind of goes in the same diatribe as what you heard from adam page back in 2022 like almost like word for word as well i wouldn't say word for word obviously but like as far as you know verb um rhetoric is considered it's literally the same sentiments you know the whole i'm here to save wwe from you hopefully cm punk doesn't take that seriously and goes on the media coverage and starts to shit on him but no, I mean, it, it is what it is. You know, like, he, he literally said the same thing Adam Page said. I'm here to save the company from you. And, you know, if you happen to last longer than I expected you, because he, he actually says straight up that I hate you. Like, he said it, I hate you. And he's like, if you happen to last longer than I expect you to last, because, you know, I don't expect you to last longer, because the history of CM Punk has always been chaos and catastrophe. And, you know, I don't expect you to last a long time, essentially. And if you do last a long time by some miracle, I'll meet you in the ring and I'll out wrestle you and I'll show you who's the real best in the world. That's essentially what he's saying overall, right? And CM Punk gets the microphone and he says, essentially, <laughs> well, he did say at first, I, I kind of like that. He was like, that's the one pass you're going to get for disrespecting me like that. Seriously, what's seriously? CM Punk, bug eyes. What is that? How are you so straight edge, but look like the world's biggest crackhead is beyond me. I swear to God, it can't just be me, right? CM Punk looks like a straight up meth head. I, I don't understand. I mean, at least he's a little bit more like swole up compared to what he was back in AEW. But man, but, 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 but man, that face. Holy hell, bro. It's like, he's like, he's like, you know like in a goddamn drug house in a trap house or something he just he wants to live there so he can stay close to his drug dealer holy fuck the eyes are just popping out of his skull telling him and he caught the con <sighs> but essentially he was like uh i said essentially how many times now but he's like oh you know i'm gonna go into the warrior rumble because i like to do things a difficult way and when i get into the warrior rumble 
I'm going to win the Royal Rumble. And Adam Pearce comes in the ring. Come in the ring, Adam Pearce. And he's like, oh, I'm going to be in the Royal Rumble, and I'll see you then. And then he leaves. I don't know why he called Adam Pearce in the ring for it. It didn't really matter. He didn't really do anything. But, yeah, that's what it is now. As we heard already on SmackDown, CM Punk is going to enter the Royal Rumble. And, well, we got our, we got our little face off. And hopefully there's more to come from this. My only thing is, though, like, is that the path that they're going to go into? It can't be that obvious when talking about the Royal Rumble, right? Like, the sentiments that I'm getting from this is that CM Punk is declaring himself, but is it really going to be that simple? Because I said this once, and I'll say it again. You know they're going to do Cody Rose and Roman Reigns on night two. You know that's going to be the case. But... Is it going to be Cody who's going to win it via the Elimination Chamber or the Rumble? And if you actually have him in the Rumble, again, even if Cody doesn't win, you're really, really, really pushing it. I think you're honestly pushing it when it comes to the reaction to Cody Rhodes. If you put Cody Rhodes out there against CM Punk, they're going to boo Cody Rhodes. I hope they don't. I hope it's more like a yay, yay, yay with like some mixed reactions from each side of the crowd. But... You know, it's CM Punk's, I presume, his debut in the ring, right? His re-debut in the ring, his return in the ring, if you will. And it's like, do you really want to go down that path and putting Cody Rhodes in that situation? I don't think it's smart. I honestly don't think it's smart. And even further, because I will say this, with Seth Rollins, it's a little bit more different. Like tonight, for an example, they were doing the whole CM Punk chance in spite of Seth Rollins. But at the same time, though, don't make, don't get it twisted. It was more so aligned with the fact that they like going, whoa, 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 has nothing to do with Seth Rollins and himself. You get what I'm trying to say? I fear for, man, I made this video a couple of days ago, and I joked around in it a lot. But, and I heard someone say this in the comment session. I get where you're coming from. Someone in the comment session said something along the lines of, and I said this in the video also, if everybody sucks, that has nothing to do with CM Punk. CM Punk coming back, they just need to get up on his level. And that's easier said than done because CM Punk has an actual relationship with the audience and they miss him. They they missed him. And you could be really any superstar in that situation from this era and you're going to be fucked no matter what you do. And do I think it's dangerous to put CM Punk in a match like this? Yes, I do. As, at least for a Cody Rhodes. Because Cody Rhodes will main event if he wins. It. Whether or not he wins the Royal Rumble match or he wins the match at the Elimination Chamber, he's going to main event against Roman Reigns on night two. And my thing is, do you really want to give him a title reign and he's going to go into a situation where he's like the new John Cena? Now, hear me out when I say this, because I kind of thought they were going to go down this path when CM Punk brought Adam Pearce in the ring, and I kind of feel like they probably should have went down that path. Hear me out for a second. I know I'm going to get some disagreement with this, but I just mean, just for if for anything else, just to not harm Cody Rhodes. Let me ask you guys a question, and give me some pushback if you want, but with that pushback, I would like an explanation as to why you don't agree with what I'm saying, which I can understand if you don't agree. I, can, I, I completely get it, but for Cody Rhodes' sake... Should they have had the match at the Royal Rumble? <clears throat> like, should they have had the match between CM Punk and Seth Rollins at the Royal Rumble? Should they go down the path of Gunther probably winning the Royal Rumble so it's not a, you know, two-peat from a Cody Rhodes and he could figure out another way how to get there probably via the Elimination Chamber? And should they have gone with CM Punk versus Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania? Because there were a lot of rumors circulating around that that was going to probably be the match, Punk versus Austin. Should they have gone down that path? So at the very least, you get a marquee match at WrestleMania. And at the same time, CM Punk, at the very, very least, he will get cheered. And Austin, because he's Austin, he will get cheered. It's just a dynamic. I know some people are going to probably push back and say something along the lines of, well, Devontae is the WWE uh, championship. Don't you want to have that in the main event? Okay, and to that, here's my... here's my And people are, people are probably not going to like this. But it's not the main championship it's not it's not because you know if you have CM Punk and Stone Cold Steve Austin that's main event and no doubt about it my thing is it's not the real world championship no one takes his brand split seriously maybe maybe I can understand your point if the brand split wasn't a thing in terms of like you know like or the brand split was a thing but they took it a little bit more seriously you know what I'm trying to say and considering that and that's my justification for that then 
you have the WWE Championship with, with uh, Roman Reigns or the Universe Championship or whatever the fuck they're calling it nowadays. You know, that's going to be the main event, so just keep it at that. Maybe they should have went down the path of Cody of CM Punk not being in the Royal Rumble match just so you wouldn't fuck over Cody. And people could say, oh, well, what about them, you know, maybe going for Gunther? Well, Gunther wins the Royal Rumble at that point. You know what I'm saying? And at the very least, I feel like if you do something more substantial, maybe there's a better chance for them to actually boo a Gunther versus booing a CM Punk. Because like I said earlier, you can make an argument that even with CM Punk winning the match, do you really want to put Cody Rose in a position where fans see that and then that type of that type of reaction gets a trend? You, you get what I'm saying? Again, I'd like some pushback on this, but more importantly, an explanation why you believe that shouldn't be the case. But otherwise, this was a pretty good promo. I liked it. You know, it was pretty minimalistic. They didn't give you a lot but we got what we needed to get we got the face off between Seth Rollins and CM Punk we got CM Punk signing with Monday Night Raw we got a pretty decent CM Punk announcement as far as him concluding that he's going to be in the Warrior Rumble match even though he said it on Smackdown now it was actually conclusive so they did their job it was nice still better than that first promo CM Punk did not quite better than the Smackdown promo though but again we got the face off of him and Seth Rollins and one more thing also <clears throat> How do you guys feel about the fact that Seth Rollins and CM Punk, there could be a position... Because it seems that they're going to start taking influences from the Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels feud from 2008. Because, you know, if Rollins keeps alluding to the fact that Punk's a hypocrite. And he also said that in his promo, too. He doesn't believe that he's actually back for the people. He doesn't buy any of his bullshit. Essentially, is what he said in his promo. He thinks he's here to steer out trouble. And he's going to be the one to save the WWE Universe from CM Punk. So that's the path that Seth Rollins wants to go down towards. So clearly Punk's going to be, a, or Seth Rollins is going to be a heel. My thing is, are you guys okay with that also? Seth Rollins being a heel going up against CM Punk at WrestleMania it fits his character a lot better. But then what happens afterwards? See, there's a lot of things that you have to talk about in regards to the situation with Punk and Rollins. And, you know, get a conversation started in the comment section below, man. There are a lot of things that I feel that needs to be talked about going into this Royal Rumble. We still got less than a month and a half away. So gear up, folks, because we got a long way to go. And hopefully we can get some more interactions out of Punk and Seth Rollins in some kind of way. And more importantly, what is, Seth, what is CM Punk going to do going forward? Now that this whole little storyline is over with him signing, is he just going to go away from television for a little bit? Come back at the Rumble or right before the Rumble? I'm very curious to get your thoughts. I said that a million one times already. As always, my name is Devontae and I'll be catching you fine folks later. Deuces, P, eyes.